As you can imagine, I spend a lot of time on build servers. So in today's video, we're going to go over all of the glitches I found that need to be fixed. The first one is the triangle shell TC placement. Only recently, Facepunch made it so if you place your TC in this orientation, you won't be able to place a triangle shelf next to it unless the TC is pixel perfect. I have no idea why they decided to do this, but it made a lot of people angry, including me. My guess that it was only an accident, but please fix it as soon as possible. The next one is placing a wind turbine or a SAM site on a frame. It used to be that they would float on the frame when you remove the triangles. Now that is not the case. They just get destroyed instead. And as Facepunch gave no warning about this, it's ruined many people's wipes when they spent 500 scrap on a SAM site, only for it to be destroyed. Now I have my personal nemesis, roofs blocking foundations. For example, if this one gets destroyed, it can't be replaced. We have another example here with this breach beak. As you can see, foundations are not placeable on either side, which could stop you from completing your base. Luckily, there is a way around it. If you place a twig roof here, you'll see that the conditional model no longer appears on the other side allowing us to place this foundation. But come on, we shouldn't have to do that, especially as we don't have this problem with the new pay to win building skins. Now this next part is a new issue that I found. You can place a foundation on the left, but for some reason, not on the right. If you upgrade the roof, you can place it. Another example can be seen here with this roof jump up. The foundation is only placeable when the roof is metal. This one is a quality of life issue with the triangle ladder hatches. The triangle ladder hatch actually has the same hitbox as a square one, so deployables can sometimes block placement. This can be really annoying when you've got to empty a load of boxes just to put your ladder hatch down. Now this is a problem that I rarely hear anybody talk about. If a foundation in your base gets destroyed in a raid, and you've got a half height shelf above it, you won't be able to replace the foundation. Currently, the only way to replace it is to soft side the shelf first. Not great when you're trying to rebuild your base after an offline. Now this one has got to be infuriating for you plumbers out there. If you have a pipe connection that changes level going around a wall, then it can disappear when you upgrade it to metal. Now this one is fairly minor, but it's still something that needs to be fixed. This shelf is splashable from outside the garage door. For example, if you have a turret behind it, it can get destroyed with just one more rocket. Obviously you can fix this by placing the garage door the opposite way, but isn't the whole point of a door to protect stuff behind it? This glitch is an old one that was made known by Game Lights about two years ago. This raised foundation is splashable from outside the honeycomb if you fire the rocket directly between the two walls. This is a big problem for you stability bunker builders. As you can see, these bunkers are severely weakened if the honeycomb is built like this. The same goes for this roof foundation bunker, which is why you'll never see any of these in the bases I built. You can also see the health of the foundation through the walls. Now, if you've ever built a shooting floor, you'll know this problem well. Since the combat update last year, it's become necessary to put windows at half height to make it easier to aim, but you can't place embrasures in them from above. Instead, you have to place them from outside or underneath. This can be very inconvenient, especially if you're trying to replace embrasures during an online. This next problem is something that they tried to fix fairly recently, but sometimes you still can't place a ramp under another one. The only fix for this I found is if you upgrade it to metal. Another problem with stone ramps and loot rooms is if the wall behind them gets destroyed, you can't replace it until you upgrade them to metal. An even worse problem with this is if you have an open core loot room with a ramp on top. Because the ramp is facing the other way, even if it's metal, you can't replace the wall. So if you're trying to rebuild after an offline, you'll have to soft side the ramp first. And with an online, you won't be able to seal. This issue is kind of related to the previous one, but in this case, it's deployables blocking ramps. So if you're trying to build a ramp loot room above, you'll have to remove the deployables below first. If you've ever watched one of my build videos, you've probably heard me talk about the triangle splash bug. So basically, if triangle ceilings are placed incorrectly, they can be splashed through walls from outside the base. In some cases, this might not matter too much, but as you'll see with this windowed loot room, that people normally build as usable honeycomb, if the triangle is not placed correctly, it will get destroyed along with the wall, no longer blocking the window and entry into the base. To make sure this doesn't happen, you need to make sure the triangles are attached to the outside walls. If I place this next one while looking down at the triangle I'm standing on, they're attached directly to it, meaning it's placed incorrectly. So as you're building your ceilings, deliberately look at the wall you're attaching the triangle to, and you should have no problems. When done, all the triangles should be pointing in to give this pretty pattern. And when building your loot rooms, make sure to purposely attach the triangle shelf to the outside wall. 
As you can see from underneath, it has a kind of arrow pointing away from the wall. And if we test it now, you'll see that it's not splashable. But depending on your base design, it can't always be avoided. As you'll see here with my base, the humbug, there is no way to attach this triangle to both outside walls. So if you fire a rocket from this angle, it can't be splashed. But from this one, it can. Which is why the tops of the honeycomb are upgraded to HQM to make up for this. But come on, face bunch, this has been a problem for years, and it's about time it was fixed. Last but not least, we have the new building skins. I'm not going to go into detail about them here, but most of you will know by now that they offer several advantages over the standard ones. If you want to learn more about these, I'll link Sigbog and Spinky's vids in the description. If you think there's anything I've missed in this video, let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for a new base to build, check out one of these two. Cheers.